Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Simone. I make lifestyle videos, vlogs, and sometimes I make videos about my dogs. But today's video is all about the Bank of America Home Grant Program. Let me just give you a little background. I was a first time home buyer. This whole process was brand new to me. So when I'm explaining my situation to you, you I, I hope no one's like, duh. But for me, this is new. And if you are a first time home buyer listening to this, maybe you feel the same way I felt, but here we go. I started my home search officially in March, like before then, for years I'd been like scrolling on Zillow and stuff and Trulia, but I actually like found a realtor, went out and started looking in March. And what really prompted me to look for a home in person is the Bank of America, America's Home Grant Program. I literally typed in on YouTube, first time home buyer grants. First one that came up was somebody talking about the Bank of America Home Loan Grant. And I was like, oh crap. What I heard was Bank of America will pay your down payment up to I think $10,000 and your closing costs up to 7,500 bucks. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like the houses I'm looking at, that will cover the entire upfront cost minus my earnest money. So I'm like, yes, this is gonna make home buying much more affordable for me. So I started to look into it. I did minimal research um, on the website. I didn't look at any more reviews. And that's what I mean by minimal research. I literally went on Bank of America's website, read um, the criteria to qualify, which I was qualified. You don't have to be a Bank of America customer. Luckily I was, so I was like, yes, hopefully that just helps my application. So once I did that minimal research, I called up Bank of America and I told them I'm interested in um, applying for that program. And the way you figure that out if you qualify fully is if you go through their mortgage application. Um, so I called, I was assigned a random loan officer. Let's call this guy James. I'm not gonna say his real name. I've given him a nice name and that is like very nice of me because this guy was not a nice guy, but let's get into it. So I got assigned James and he was just asking me preliminary questions, where I lived, my income, do I already have properties? And I made sure to tell him, hey, I'm a first time home buyer. Um, I'm still doing my research, but could you please help me along the way? Um, I may be asking you a bunch of questions. I just wanna make sure I'm headed in the right direction. He's like, yeah, sure. I, I mean, it's so great that you're so young buying a house. I'm glad to help you. I'm like, awesome. So. They're asking me all the questions and I get a pre-qualification. And one thing that surprised me was he's like, okay, how much do you want to qualify for? Or what, what's the loan amount you want? I'm like, I tell you? And he's like, yeah, like how much is the house you want worth? I'm like, oh my God, okay. I said, whatever the house. And at the time I wanted this house that was in an area in um, Atlanta. Well, not really Atlanta, but it's called Decatur. And the house I think was like 280. And so I told him like, hey, 280. He's like, okay, da, da, da. He's like typing on his computer. He's like, you wanted to qualify for the home grant program, right? I'm like, yeah. And so, okay, give me the exact address of the house. He types it in on his computer and then boom, he's like, awesome. You qualify for the down payment and the closing cost assistance. So I'm like, what? He's like, you'll qualify up to this certain amount. That doesn't mean you'll get the entire amount, but you do qualify for this. I'm like, awesome. So let's get things rolling. I've already seen the house. I fell in love with it and I wanted that house. Like I got super excited knowing that now I can put in an offer because I have a loan. Um, I'm, I will, I'm able to qualify for a loan to purchase this house. So let's get going. At the time, the housing market was crazy. So I understood that although the loan amount is just for the cost of the house, I would have to put down additional money um, because the house would not appraise for what I wanted or what I would have had to um, put in an offer for the house. So like I said, the house was on the market for 280. 
It's a competitive market in Atlanta. So I was going to offer 290 and um, I understood that I would have had to put down $10,000 of my own money um, because the house would not appraise and the loan can only appraise for, I mean, you can only get a loan for the amount of the house's selling price. So with that in mind, I'm like, that's okay because I'm gonna qualify for this grant. I don't have to put any additional money down for down payment and my closing costs. So I'm like, I can afford this. So I chat with my realtor. I tell her, hey, let's get this um, offer started. What do you need from me? It's like, I need a pre-qualification letter. Um, so I call Bank of America, my loan officer, James back, and I get things rolling. He's like, I'm going to send you a document called a loan estimate. And what a loan estimate is, is a document, um, that's standard across all mortgage companies. It just shows how much your monthly payment's going to be principal interest and how much money is due at closing for closing day. It also shows close the closing date. Um, so I get this document and I'm reading it through and I'm like, Hey, it says, um, cash to close is like $20,000. And he's like, yep. I'm like, Hey, but you told me like the grant would subtract to this money. Wouldn't that show up on this document? He's like, Hmm, let me take a look. He's like, actually, I guess the grant doesn't work for this address. So I'm like, what? Like you just told me on your system, it said it did. Like what changed? He's like, uh, I guess I did something wrong. I'm like, oh crap, well I don't wanna pay $20,000 for this, like out of pocket for this house, really. Okay, never mind. So I told my realtor, never mind on this house, which is really annoying because the house was amazing. I start doing another search for houses and I am still in contact with James, the Bank of America loan officer. And I'm like, okay, I wanna make sure that doesn't happen again. I'm gonna send you a list of houses that my realtor sent me that I may be interested in beforehand. And I want you to check and see if they qualify for the grant program. He's like, okay, I'll do that. Anytime I saw a house that I liked, I would send it to him before I actually would visit the house in person. So my realtor would send me addresses. I'd send it to the guy. If the home qualified, then I would go see it in person. I didn't want to waste gas and time. <laughs> so I found another house. This house was even better in my opinion. And I find out it's qualified for both the down payment and the closing cost assistance. I'm super happy. And my cash to close should have been like 3,000 bucks. That's amazing. So I talked to the guy, I'm like, hey, are you sure this qualifies once again because I'm gonna put in an offer on this house? He's like, yeah, it does, I'm sure. Okay, put in an offer, my offer is accepted. I don't know if this is standard, but within my sales contract, um, it was, I had to pay my earnest money, which at the time was gonna be about $3,000 within three days of my offer being accepted. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me transfer money to my bank so I can send this earnest money. And I also had to pay for an inspection, which was $500. So out of pocket right there, that's $3,500. Hold on, I need some coffee because I'm starting to get stressed. So yes, keep that number in mind, $3,500 out of pocket. Tell me why a couple days go by and I wake up to this voicemail. Like I'm already binded to my contract and I get this, hold on. Hey Simone, I'm just following up with you. I tried you late last night, but the property is not eligible for the down payment grant. <laughs> like what, what, what? I've already paid all this money and you're telling me that the house does not qualify for the grant? One thing I left out before, which I found out was totally illegal, once that first house did not qualify for the grant, I'm like, what type of houses should I look for? This man told me to look in a specific county in um, Atlanta called Fulton County. He's like, if you buy a house there, you will 100% qualify for the grant, which I found out is illegal because a loan officer cannot tell you where to purchase a home. He told me that, so I started looking for homes in Fulton County. So I'm sitting there like, I just paid all this money. 
and I don't qualify for the down payment assistance, but I do qualify for the closing cost, and that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> Obviously, the down payment is going to be way higher than the closing cost. I don't, I would prefer to get the down payment grant and not the closing cost, but I got it the other way around. So I'm thinking like, oh crap, I am legally bound to buy this home, even though what I thought were the numbers is totally different. So I went from having to put down $3,000, which I would have already put down because that's my earnest money, to having to put down $17,000, guys. $17,000 due to this man's mistake. I have never been so mad. How could you make a mistake that big twice? I called his manager. He, you know, sucked as well. <laughs> like, he's like, I don't know what to do. We can't just pull the money out of nowhere for you. He's like, you're either gonna have to buy this home or find a way to get out of your contract if you cannot afford that $17,000 down payment. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, do you not understand your employee illegally advised me to purchase a home in an area that really wasn't even true. So he lied and he's participating in illegal activity. And I just went from having a $3,000 cash to close amount to $17,000 because of him. Hello, can you do something? And he's just like, I can't do anything. Like I literally can't do anything. So mad. So I have to fight with the seller of the home to try to get out of that contract and try to get my money back. At that point, I'm like, I'm done with Bank of America. Oh my gosh, I cannot deal with this. That was so stressful. I'm like, please lose my application. Just forget you guys, you guys suck. So then um, I started shopping around for other mortgage companies again, which the, you, you should always have multiple um, mortgage applications at different banks in because you can um, shop around for different interest rates and compare and contrast, all that, blah, blah, blah. My interest rates were the same at literally every single mortgage, mortgage company. It was maybe a percent, like a, a 0.1 difference. But like, honestly, the only reason I really wanted that Bank of America mortgage is because they had that home grant program. And if the market was different, I wouldn't care because my closing costs would have been paid by the seller. But we're in a market where sellers are not giving you closing costs. They're they they're taking cash offers. Like I didn't have a cash offer. I wanted to save money so I can actually have money to survive once I get into the house. So I'm like, even though I hate Bank of America, I'm gonna try again. I'm just gonna try again with a different loan officer. I asked for a different loan officer, I get it. This guy, let's call him Daniel. He's a much nicer guy. He helps me, he's telling me information that the previous loan officer never told me. Like I had no idea I had to take a, like, a home ownership um, course. And it's recommended that you do that before you even start shopping for houses. This a-hole, James, never mentioned anything. So whatever, find a house, get my loan um, started. He does the um, grant program. He tells me up front, this house only qualifies for closing costs. You're, it's up to you for the down payment. Well, at least I know that. And that's okay because I'm prepared. Thank you for telling me this super accurate information, but I wanna double check because I've been burned before. It, do I really qualify for that home grant um, for closing costs? He said, yes. And not only that, it will show up on your loan estimate. Got my loan estimate, it showed on up right then and there. Everything was so smooth. You know the closing process takes up to a month. Um, so literally the entire month, smooth going. The guy would answer the phone when I called. He would call me back immediately if he didn't. He would check in with me through email and I just always reminded him like, hey, you are great. I'm like, you have some coworkers that suck. So I don't know if you're actually doing a good job or if you're just doing the bare minimum, but you're doing great. Guys, everything was fine and dandy until closing day. He calls me like 7 a.m. and is like, hey, uh, I'm missing something from you. I'm like, what? 
I just spoke to you every day leading up to the stage and make sure I had everything. And you said, I did. He's like, yeah. Um, can you give me the receipt that you paid your earnest money? I'm like, okay. Call my realtor. My realtor sent the receipt over to him. Boom. I'm like, hey, got the receipt. He's like, yeah. Uh, something else though. Hey, do you have this document? Yep, I already sent it to you. It's in my online portal because Bank of America does have a really nice online portal to keep all of your documents organized. He's like, oh, okay, sorry. All right, all right, good to go. Calls him back like two hours later. At this point, it's like two hours before closing. He's like, hey, your PMI um, person is, uh, they're trying to wrap up some documentation and then we have to send it over to your closing attorney and they have to send it back. And I don't know if you have enough time. I don't know if you're gonna close. I'm sorry, my closing is in two hours. I've been calling you every day to ensure we have everything right. You said, yes, what's going on? What is this? Why are you doing this today? You're starting to scare me. I've complimented you the entire process. Why are you doing this now? He's like, I know. Sorry, nothing on your side though. And nothing on our side. It's, it's the closing attorney and the PMI office. He calls me back literally 45 minutes before a closing and is like, okay, we're good to go. I'm like, oh, oh, you were really scaring me unnecessarily. I'm headed to the closing office. I'm so happy I already paid my down payment so I don't have to go to the bank or anything like that. He's like, you what? I'm like, I already paid my down payment like a week ago. And he's like, I don't have that receipt. I'm like, okay. Like, I'm like, I, I'm like, I put it in my portal. He's like, yeah, but I wasn't notified. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? He's like, uh, why did you do that? Why did you pay your down payment so early? I'm like, what's wrong with paying something a week before it's due? He's like, uh, okay, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna give you a call back. So me and my mom go to the closing office. We're sitting there and the closing attorney literally comes out and he's like, hey, I just got an email that your closing is canceled. What? What? Why? And they're like, you paid your down payment too early and it wasn't notified. So my, this is actually crazy. My realtor calls the um, loan officer, James, and is like, I mean, not James, I forgot that. I don't even know what I named this guy. My realtor calls the loan officer, the new one who was super helpful, but started scaring me on closing day. And they literally got in an argument like, more so the Bank of America guy was arguing with him, like stop trying to tell me how to do my job and I don't like how she paid early and not she didn't notify me. And they're like, what's the problem with paying early? Like what, what's what's the problem with that? This, this down payment doesn't even go to you. <laughs> and he's just like, I don't get why she wired the money so early. Like we have to cancel closing. I didn't have an account of that. He's like, it doesn't matter if she wired it today or yesterday or three months ago, the closing attorney is holding it. He's like, stop trying to tell me what to do. You don't know what you're talking about. I've been in this industry for blah, blah, blah years. Well, that's just not what she did. She paid it a week before. Just making up weird excuses. Even this is my first time doing this, but even I was like, hey, this doesn't make sense at all. Like in the midst of arguing, my realtor comes up with this idea. What if the closing attorney wires the money back to me and then I wire the money back to you guys. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, we'll see, I'll call you back. Then we find out closing's back on because they can wire me the money and I just wire it right back, boom. So dumb, so annoying. Buying a home is already a little stressful, especially in this market where you're competing. Okay, long story short, do I recommend the Bank of America, America's Home Grant Program? If you have a good loan officer, and you have the time to check up on, you know, the status of your loan because it would suck for you to get to closing day and have this huge stressful issue of not being able to close. And it's, and that's not the program that stopped me from being able to close, even though I did close, but um, it was more so just Bank of America's unprofessional loan officers. I mean, this is a very sensitive process. Like you're dealing with your finances and money that you can lose quickly. And these guys are just so unapologetic and so unprofessional, like arguing, literally arguing with my realtor 
on speakerphone and telling me false information that would have costed me thousands of dollars if I couldn't get out of that contract, that's my nightmare experience. I don't know to recommend this to anyone. It is a program. It is a good program if it could be executed more professionally. I did get my um, closing cost paid for. I did get money back and after closing, but that was really stressful. I think if you're in a position where you don't need assistance or you don't care to have assistance, don't do it. But if you're watching this video, you're interested in it, go into it knowing you have to like really, really be on your loan officer, which I'm sure you should do anyways. I don't know. I've only had this problem with Bank of America because I only have one house, <laughs> but it was a nightmare for me, especially that first hiccup. Actually, that was not a hiccup. That was terrible. So yeah, that's my story. If you've had an experience similar to mine, comment down below what that was like. If you do move forward with the program, let me know and then give me a review in the comments after. I have other home updates and home videos. If you would love to watch those, I'll link one here. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next week.